Hi, welcome back. Thanks for clicking. Um, it's me here, joining you on a beautiful September 2nd night in 2014, and it's very beautiful in the the nighttime September 2nd um, bugs and stuff are singing uh, a chorus of sounds. <clears throat> so I'm back with another video, you know, continuing my series of People Suck a topic with uh, with another People Suck topic, which is People Mostly Disappoint. And um, something that I probably was going to get to eventually, but I guess eventually happens to be September 2nd, because something happened tonight, or rather didn't happen, that prompted this review. So a little bit of very brief backstory. In October of 2012, I joined the gym just because, I don't know, I thought I was going to do this over the winter, you know. I, I needed something to do over the winter so because I tend to just go crazy, you know. I joined a gym with a pool, you know, and a hot tub and stuff. I'm like, well, I can at least swim during the winter because I like to swim all summer and I just, maybe it'll ease the pain of winter, which it, eh, I don't know if it really did. Winter really sucks. And, um... <clears throat> I mean, I never would have imagined in a million years I'd ever join a gym. So it was a little bit one of those things that was like going out of your element and maybe I could meet people, I can put myself among people, maybe I could meet people, women or men or, I mean, men for friendships, you know, and women for whatever. <laughs> and uh, uh, so I'm like, you know, well, whoop de doo you know. So <clears throat> I'm going to try to cut this short or try to get stay on the ball here. So over the, you know, they got a, three really cool racquetball courts and stuff and everything like that. And, you know, you kind of, I wouldn't mind, you know, I've tried played that before with my lesbian acquaintance friend, a lesbian acquaintance friend before, and I was like, that's kind of fun, you know. So I, over the course of my, you know, between, you know, when I joined and now, I asked, I, I, I asked a guy and a couple women if they wanted to play racquetball over the course of my going to that gym and, you know, you know, was basically turned down all three times, you know, so at least my, my, whatever you call it, track record is con consistent, you know, it, it doesn't have any variances, like on the graph it's just like this, just this straight line, kind of like when you're fucking dead, you know, just the flat line. So that's what my social life reads like, fucking flat line, so that's great. So, I'm just like, fuck, you know, who wants to play a fucking racquetball anyway? <laughs> she, you know, I thought they said, I thought third time's a charm. I guess not. So, there was this one guy that o over the course of the months and stuff, we, I get to say hi every now and then. We see, uh, see him, it's just like, hey, what's up? And if it was like January, February, I'd bitch about how much I hated winter and how depressed I was. And in a, in a, funny, in a funny way with, with laughs and smiles and shit. It's like, ha, 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 I hate this shit. I didn't say that, but that's what was on my mind. So we'd briefly talk or whatever. He's not really my kind of person. <clears throat> you know, he's like, like sports and he's like, oh, how, uh, how are the, I don't know, some team doing or do you follow them? I'm just like, no, I don't give a shit. I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking. So anyway, anyway long story short, it occurred to me like a couple weeks ago, maybe it was like, I don't know, six, seven, eight weeks ago, just while we're talking, I'm like, I was leaving, you know, I changed and I was on my way out and I saw him and I'm like, you ever, ever do racquetball or anything like that? I thought, well, let's try it, maybe fourth time's a charm. Let's try asking this guy, what the hell, it doesn't matter, you know, one way or another, what he says, <laughs> you know, let's go for another no. I'm kind of collecting no's, so I figure, you know, you know, let's collect another no. And uh, he's like, yeah, you know, I play, uh, yeah, I'm in a tennis league, you know, I'm in a tennis league, and I'm like, oh, cool, great, oh, that's nice, do you want to, you know, do you ever play, you want to play racquetball, but I've been looking for someone to play, I didn't tell them that I asked three people and they turned me down, but I'm like, I've been looking <laughs> for someone to play racquetball with, I figured we got them racquetball courts there, and uh, you might as well use them, yeah, yeah, so we exchanged emails, <clears throat> like ten minutes left, and uh, made plans for, I think, four days out or something like that, four days later or something like that, to, to get together to meet there and, and do racquetball and I'm like wow I was like it, it you know it took a while for me to sink in I was like holy shit I've got plans yeah I haven't had plans for years I don't think you know <clears throat> with someone new you know and it's just like wow plans with someone new you know it's like wow so like the whole four days I was basically 
a little more chipper than normal because I had plans and was like I was looking forward to I wasn't used to looking forward to stuff I was looking forward to, to the racquetball and of course I don't know if it was like four or five hours before we were meant to show up on the day of I get an email from him saying sorry man there's that word again man it's not as bad when it's on email <laughs> as it is when you say it to your face <laughs> sorry man can't make it and uh, my, you know, my heart, let's face it, I mean, to someone who's got really no one and nothing in life, when they had a plan, my heart kind of, it wasn't a big deal, but my heart kind of sunk. And I didn't even respond. I was like, I responded the next day or something, because <clears throat> I was just so pissed. You know, what's the point to responding anyway, you know, at that time, right away, it didn't, it didn't matter. You know, so uh, that kind of sucked. So moving on to the story, we made it. We made we made another plan to do it again. And of course, I figured I didn't know if I even wanted to do it because I mean we're both adults. He's an adult. You make plans, first plans with someone, and you've got to cancel. That's lame. And I didn't know if I wanted to even try again, but I said fuck it, I'll try again. Well, it doesn't fucking matter. You know, we do it when I'm going to go there anyway, and we just do it before or after or whatever. So I made plans again to do it, and this time he came through and we did it, and it was fun. We did like an hour, and it seemed like five minutes. I mean, racquetball's kind of fun, you know, just hitting the ball. I, you know, I don't give a fuck about rules. It's hard enough just hitting the goddamn ball. So it was just like, he's like, oh yeah, I don't know what the rules are. We could find out online, and I'm like, or we, or just, or not, and just hit the ball. I mean, who the, what, what the fuck, you know, why do you want to fucking add rules to this shit? Just hit the ball. You know, what the fuck are we playing for a goddamn championship? Hit the fucking ball. I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking. Um, but what I did say is, or we could not do rule, or we could not do rules. I mean, who gives a shit about the rules? Hit the fucking ball. I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking. So, the second time actually worked out. Okay. Yippee skippy. I'm like, okay, maybe that first time was a fluke. So then we made plans on Saturday via email to, uh, I think, yeah, Saturday to, to meet up tonight. And I'm like, well... Last time we did, we did the racquetball before my 40-minute workout, and I'm like, I, you know, when I went to do the 40-minute workout after the hour of racquetball, I was like, ah, couldn't do shit. So today I wanted to, or from now on, I wanted to do racquetball workout first and then racquetball after. So I wasn't exhausted going into working out. So, you know, I went there, and we set a time, and I went there, and he said, you know, I go there 45 minutes in advance, and he's like, we'll meet, we'll start at 10, we'll meet at 10, we'll do racquetball at 10, and, you know, five, 10 to 5 is creeping up, 10, and it's like he's not there, and 10, 5 after 10, and 10 after 10, and I'm pretty much wrapping up on my workout for the day, and quarter after, and I'm going to, you know, I change, and I come out 25 after on my way out, I'm just looking around, and I'm like, so I leave. <clears throat> So people mostly disappoint, and this isn't something new that I've experienced. I had a friend, quote-unquote friend, we might as well call him, a, call him an acquaintance, that I knew since I was 14, who we'd have bonfires and all this kind of stuff at my house, you know. And there was one time in particular, and this is like 10, over 10 years into our friendship, you know, we're both in our late 20s, I think. There's one time in particular where he's like, we made the plans to have a bonfire. Got to kind of wrap up. And um, he's like, yeah, go ahead and start it. Start the fire. You know, get everything ready, start the fire, and, you know, I'll show up. <laughs> you know, like, yada, yada, yada at this time. So I'm like, cool, okay, cool. So I start the fire, and he's like, and, you know, he's not there around the time he said he's going to be. It's like half hour, hour, hour and a half, two hours. And it's just like... This is someone that I've known at the time for over 10 years, you know, who wasn't, you know, who seemed to get more and more flaky as he gets older, you know. So this is the shit I experience with people. And I gotta, I gotta tell you, my lesbian acquaintance pretty much follows through on plans. So I will give, I will give her that and I will say that. And that's appreciated. Thank you. But I just, I don't, you know, I don't understand it. What it is with these, with these people, who make you know? What's the point of making plans 
I think it's in incredibly, again, you know, I guess, you know, the, the masses would, would deem me sensitive, but I think it's, and I would deem them insensitive, so fuck you, masses. That's not to you, that's to the masses. What's the point of making plans if you're not, if you're going to cancel? You know? So, in relation to this racquetball guy, I mean, it's two out of the three times he, he can't, he, well, the, sec, the, the first time at least he told me in advance he's not going to show up. Today he didn't say anything. He just didn't show up. I mean, it didn't really matter because it was my, you know, gym day and I did my stuff and I was ready to go, but come on. I was looking forward to, you know, we actually had a, a time that worked and it happened. So, I was look, again, I was looking forward to it since Saturday. So, you know, when I'm, when I'm lonely and w I wish, you know, I want to meet people, I ask myself, why? Why do you want to meet people if this is what they do, if all they do is disappoint you? And then I go, yeah, that's a good point, you know? I mean, that's why I really like movies and shit, because movies, they can't not show up unless, you know, I don't know, unless you have Netflix and getting DVDs delivered in the mail, but I don't do that. <laughs> But uh, it seems like more often than not, you know, people disappoint, and it's just, it's a drag. And it's one of the reasons why, you know, a lot of times I'm like, fuck people. You know, and another reason why I don't really like most people, I guess. You know, one of the many reasons why I don't like most people. So that's my little story about people mostly disappoint. Um, it seems like, you know, if you're a good... Over, you know, good guy. I don't know. You know, like that saying, nice guys finish last? In my experience, nice guys don't even fucking finish. Their tire fucking, all four tires blow and their engine fucking falls out of the goddamn car before they get to the finish line. I mean, nice guys finish last? They don't even finish. They don't finish at all. It's like they don't even start the goddamn race. Finish last, my fucking ass. So anyway... <laughs> This is a nice little rant video based on something that just happened, or like I say, didn't happen tonight, and the topic that I was going to get to eventually, and like I say, I guess today is eventually, so what do you know? I guess maybe I don't have to go all the way to the 15 or 15 minute mark, because I said it all, and I'm pretty much wrapped up for this topic. So thank you very much for watching, I guess, and uh, let's just... I guess not even bother with people, I mean, fuck, you know, I mean, what, what's, I just, I don't know, I don't get it, it's so easy to, uh, for me, of course, I guess I don't have a lot going on, but it's so easy for me to, to show up when I say I will, I mean, I just don't think it's like fucking rocket science, I guess maybe it is rocket science to some people. So, I guess that'll do it. Thanks a lot for clicking, and we'll catch you on the next video.